Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And as promised, which I've been promising you guys this video for quite some time now, I am going to be doing the pet tag with my Mr. Rocky Rococo. I have had Rocky for over a year now and I've been promising this pet tag and I swear to God, you guys, life just kind of got in the way and I don't know how he's going to be during this video. I don't know how long this video is going to take, but we are going to try our best. Sometimes he does get a little antsy, so he is in like one of his little like sleepy moods right now though, so we'll see what happens, but first and foremost, I would like to introduce to you all, this is Prince Rocky Rococo. He was born on February 9th and he is almost two years old. He will be two years old on February 9th of this year. And you guys, as all of my other Shih Tzus have been, which I've had two Shih Tzus um, in my adult life, this is my third. He is just literally such a joy to have. I absolutely adore him. My first Shih Tzu was black and white. My second Shih Tzu was chocolate. And this one is like a blonde moment. We actually kind of match like our hair. So he does look like my son. Now my other two Shih Tzus are girls and he is a little boy. I just want to give like some background as to how I found him. Um, so the Shih Tzu that I got, my second Shih Tzu, Miss Snooky Louise, I got her from um, a breeder in Idaho. And before you guys come for me, yes, I did get my dogs from a breeder. You can, you know, leave all your negative comments um, someplace else, please, because um, I am very, very specific with my dogs. And yes, I did get them from a breeder. So I got Miss Snooky Louise from Idaho and I really, really wanted to get another Shih Tzu from her, but with the plane ticket and everything and she wasn't really, she didn't really have a lot of Shih Tzus. Um, she wasn't really, you know, breeding anymore. She uh, did recommend another breeder. So we got Mr. Rocky Rococo from Ohio. Ohio? Yes, Ohio. I keep on thinking Indiana, but this woman was originally from Indiana and then relocated to Ohio. So um, we did get Rocky Rococo from Ohio and my daughter actually drove with her friend to Ohio to pick him up because I didn't really want the plane experience anymore. We did that with Snooky Louise and we were really, really lucky that things went well in that area, but I was just super scared with being, you know, really tiny dogs. It just makes me really, really nervous. So she went to go pick him up. And if you guys know the Jersey Shih Tzus, they're infamous. They have uh, tons of followers on Instagram and um, she has long red hair, the, the lady who owns all the Jersey Shih Tzus. So one of her dogs is actually from this breeder that I got Rocky Rococo from. So Rocky is related to one of her dogs. I'm not real sure which one, I'll have to ask her. But so I knew of the breeder, I knew people who knew her, and I definitely trusted this breeder. So we picked up Rocky and we, I, I was, I was skeptical a little bit about getting a boy dog because I had a boy Shih Tzu long, long time ago when I was growing up and I don't really quite remember um, you know, like how training went with him or whatever, but this one was definitely different than the girls for training. So he took a longer time to house train than my girls did. My girls were pretty much trained within the first like two months. He took about a good six months to get house trained. We tried the bells. I tried taking him to uh, PetSmart to do the puppy classes. And it really took him a long time to focus on eye contact with us. And I mean, his vision is great. It wasn't the vision. I believe it was just like being a boy dog. It just took him a little bit longer to like figure things out. But let me tell you, the time that I spent training him for those six months were like crucial bonding moments we bonded over everything. Like I got up, you guys, in the middle of the night and let this dog out to make sure that there were no accidents. 
He still continued to have accidents. My daughter actually took him to work with her. She worked full-time days and I worked days. Um, she was able to take him to work with her so he wasn't alone for the majority of the time, um, which was really, really nice. But, you know, after a while, like she switched jobs and it just wasn't feasible anymore. So we do have him now to the point where he is home alone while I work. So he's home alone during that time and he is fine. There's no like craziness going on or whatever. So that's a little bit of the background, but now I'm going to get into um, like the furry, furry friend tag questions because I wasn't really sure what you guys like wanted to know about him. Oh, he's getting a little heavy. By the way, you guys, this is my smallest Shih Tzu. He is only just eight pounds, maybe seven and a half, um, seven and a half usually in the summer, like eight in the winter, just because he is like so fluffy and he is due for a groom. I do have to have him groomed every five weeks because his fur is just like craziness. He has like three different textured fur, like different furs on him, if that makes sense. Like his hair is three different textures. So he has this like thin, like fluffy texture on his breast and on his paws. And then he has this like super rough texture or like a rougher texture on the middle of his back. It's very like thick and plush and just as you guys can see it's almost like it's it's like a rougher type of fur texture and then on his tail it's like hair like human hair on the tail so he definitely has like a different different things going on with him but anyway okay so let's get into the pet tag questions the first question is what is your pet name and why did you name him that? This is Prince Rocky Rococo. Like I said, I love the singer Prince. I was a big fan growing up back in the 80s. So I always wanted to name my dog Prince. I love, love, love the name Rocky for a dog, especially like a little dog, because I feel like Rocky is like a you know, tough kind of boy name. And I really wanted that for him. And I love Rocky Rococo pizza. So Prince Rocky Rococo is what it is. Birthday is on February 9th. So he will be two years old. He is a Shih Tzu. He's a tiny Shih Tzu. Um, and like I said, he is the smallest Shih Tzu that I have ever owned. Right now he is being so good. Usually he is just a little Dickens. Like this guy definitely has a personality. But anyway, where did you get him or her? I said from Ohio. What are some of the quirky things about your pet's personality? Hmm. So he is usually, well, he's always, I would say, a really, really happy guy. He gets the zoomies at night. He is just so lovable and kind. His favorite thing are men. He loves men. He will go up to any man and give him tons of love. Although he loves children as well. And he, lo he loves everyone. He is just a lover of people in general. Um, Quirky thing that he does, he has a pet rat that he, that is his favorite toy. It's in my bedroom, I think right now, I'm not gonna get it out, but he takes the rat into my bedroom, which is on the other side of the house. And if I'm home, he'll, and he, he usually only does this with the rat, but he screams with the rat in his mouth. And it is the most weird thing that ever, that I've ever seen out of any dogs that I have had. He, he like cries, but like it's only when the toy is in his mouth. So I've looked it up online to see like what that's all about. And people have definitely said online that sometimes like dogs have like a lot of like energy in them that they need to get out. And that's like one of the things that they do. It's not like he's lonely or anything. Like he knows that I'm home. He just screams with it in his mouth. He plays with it as well. But that's just like one of the little quirky things that he does. And another like little quirky thing that like sometimes Rocky does is I would say 60 to 70% of the time after he is done drinking water, he will regurgitate. 
Now, I brought this up to the vet. We don't know what's going on. We don't know why. He could have like a cleft palate, like way, way down below. It could be acid reflux. We're not sure, but that's what happens. So I'm constantly like walking around with like baby wipes just in case like he regurgitates a little bit and it's like he burps and then it comes up just like a tiny little bit. Sometimes he only burps and nothing comes up, which is a great thing. But other times a little thing will come up kind of just like a little baby burp. I don't know. It's so weird. Could be too that he's drinking just too fast or whatever. I don't know. Um, the next question, what does your relationship with your pet mean to you? This little guy means everything to me. <laughs> Look at him. So usually every time too, like that I hold him like this, like he'll push me away. Like, okay, he's pushing me away. See how he's like pushing a little bit? Like I go in and then he, he yeah, he doesn't like that. He doesn't like that. But anyway, I love him, you guys. It gives me a reason to wake up in the morning. I take care of him. I love him. He is like my everything. My dogs, if you guys know, like, see, look at him push my neck away. Um, My dogs are just like everything to me. And I just, I absolutely love him. So for that answer, I put down therapy. Like, honestly, like these little Shih Tzus are therapy to me. He's everything. Uh, next question. What are some of the nicknames that you call your pet? So... My daughter thought of the nickname Bean because he does look like a little, like, bean. I don't know. His face looks like a little bean, but we call him Bean. I call him Mr. I'm like, come here, Mr. Um, and he answers to that. And then we just always call him the baby. Like, whenever I refer to him to anyone, I always say, oh, the baby. Like, you know, the baby didn't go outside today or, oh, the baby got a little sick today. The baby needs to eat today. He is just the baby. Um, anyway, number seven, let's see here. How long have you had your pet? I got him on June 11th of 2022. So I did get him when he was four months old, a little bit older um, than what I had gotten my other previous Shih Tzus, but that's okay. So he was four months and you guys, he was definitely a whim, a whim baby. I was scrolling through Facebook one day and I had already followed his breeder on Facebook and I saw him. And I said to my daughter, look at this Shih Tzu. And she's like, I'm getting him. I'm driving with my friend and I'm getting him. And they got him. And that's how I got him. It, it was just the craziest thing. But I do feel like sometimes like it's just meant to be. You know what I mean? It was meant to be for sure. Um, does your pet know any tricks? He can sit for a few seconds and that's about it. Um... Has your pet destroyed anything? Yes, he has destroyed panties. If I'm like taking a shower and I put my dirty clothes on the floor, he'll take the panties and he'll run. Any tissue that's in like the bathroom um, a trash, he will take, he loves the tissue. He loves the Kleenex. He loves any like toilet paper that he can get his hands on or his mouth on. Um, and he definitely just likes clothes, any clothes that he can, you know, put in his mouth. He definitely will. He loves that. Um, let's see. How would your pet react to an intruder in your house? He would actually love an intruder. He loves anyone. We recently had the maintenance man come. He had to do something with my hot water heater and he was, um, in the kitchen, kind of by my hot water heater in the kitchen there. And he was sitting on the floor, the maintenance guy was, and I couldn't find the dog. And all of a sudden I look and the dog is sitting on his lap on the floor. So he just loves everyone. I don't, I don't think he would do anything. And he's not a barker. He's not a licker. So usually these small dogs, they like, like to bark and stuff. He doesn't. The only time he will is if like the Amazon guy is here and they knock on the door, he will like give out one little bark or one little yodel, but he doesn't like bark and he doesn't lick. He's not like an uncontrollable licker. He doesn't really give kisses. I don't know why. Um, let's see. What is your pet's favorite treat? So I did bring out some treats. Every time he goes to the bathroom, when he comes back inside, he gets a little training treat. 
So I get these from TJ Maxx and it is by the company called Crazy Dog. And these are only like 1.5 calories a treat. So I will give him one of these and he absolutely loves these. Another thing that he loves are the natural Nutra Dent, I don't know, limited ingredients. These are something that cleans the teeth because he won't let me brush his teeth, unfortunately. So we are getting a dental cleaning later on this month which will be his first dental cleaning. So I'm a little bit nervous about that because they do have to put them out. But anyway, he loves these. So I give him usually one like once a month because they're a little bit bigger and he swallows them. Like he chews it and swallows it and stuff. So that makes me a little bit nervous. But anyway, um, can your pet swim? No, I doubt it. I don't think so. Um, do I crate train my pet? No, I do have a crate, like a big, huge, like doghouse type situation in my bedroom that I have like a huge bed in there and all his, or some of his toys in there. Um, if what, I have company over and I need to keep him contained, I will put him in there. But when I am gone or whatever, he is definitely not a crate trained animal. Um, does your pet sleep in bed with you? Absolutely absolutely i wouldn't have it any other way and he loves it as well he's such a good boy um who does your pet love the most i would have to say myself and my daughter um we are his people we are like his tribe um does your pet dress up no he really doesn't like wearing like sweaters or anything plus his fur is so plush he really doesn't need to but since we do live in wisconsin i will put his little champion um, little, you know, sweater thingy on him at times. I do have some other little sweaters too, but he's not really a sweater guy. And let's see, the last question is, if you could get another pet, what would it be and why? And I put down a black and white Shih Tzu girl, just because the very first Shih Tzu that I owned in my adult life was black and white, and she was a girl. So I would probably, you know, get like a black and white girl, but Honestly, I am so content with him. He doesn't really like other dogs. He doesn't get along with other dogs. So I probably wouldn't get another dog with him. Um, he's definitely like a one man, a one man home is what I like to say. Also other treats that I give him, like the bones. I do have the Himalayan chews, which he absolutely loves, but he goes through them so fast. I have these on auto delivery through Amazon and these are just the the cheese um, chews, he, he's not, I, yeah, I don't know. He's a little slow, you guys. I think he's a little, like, at first I thought, okay, you are a little slow, but then like, he is really smart too. He's smart on some things and not on others. So I, I don't know, you go, oh, okay, he does like that. Oh, he kissed it and that was it. So I don't know, you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this pet tag. I'm sure there are other questions. If you guys want to know other questions that maybe we can do like a part two, leave them down below. But thank you guys so much for watching my Rocky Rococo pet tag. I hope you guys all have a great day and we will see you all later. Say bye, Rocky. Oh my gosh, he so needs to get groomed. Say bye, Rocky. Say bye-bye, everyone. <laughs> He's everything. Oh! Oh my gosh, he looked like, what the hell is going on?